village farm village farm village farm guys if you if you're not aware the company is down 19 percent for the day it is one of the leader in the cannabis space but the stock is down let's jump right into it so you could find out why this company is going down for today now let's jump right into what we can see for the day the company opens up just around 13 dollars um and 29 cents goes up to as high as 13.36 and then it drops to ten dollars and 85 at first and then it rebound back to just over eleven dollars and eight cents and now we can see it came back down to ten dollars and 81 and back up to ten dollars and 90 cents now one of the big reason why this stock is dropping this morning and i want you guys to pay attention before you invest or do some research to understand and you know what i will show you exactly why it's dropping because i like to keep it very straightforward with you guys keep it simple so you can make an informed uh, decision now here's the reason why the big drop this morning this big 19 percent drop that we can see right now is that the q1 sales that was reported for the q1 at market open this morning was 52.4 million dollars versus the 32.1 million dollars that investors expected also they reported a quarterly loss per share of 10 cents um, versus um, earnings per share view at two cent minus two cents so we're looking right now at a company that has gone on a practically a 60 percent um, downtrend in the last i would say two um, to three months not good news for village farm right now not good news for the market in general but what we do understand this is good news for people that's trying to invest to make money in this company yes it's a big disappointing report that everyone was expecting something better but hey listen we have to really work with what we get now as an investor there are down days and there are up days now the cannabis market will rise um it doesn't matter what people say people have a tendency of really bashing when the market is going down and then they get hype when the market is going up we need to fully understand the market to know when to buy when to sell and when to just be calm and patient right and this is what i've learned over the years is that i used to be like a lot of people when the market is going down i'm like hey it's going down don't buy don't buy then when the market is going up i'm like bye 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 and then what happened is you start to buy when it's high and then you get suckered into a high price and then the market pulled back and then you have not much to do and the flip side is that when the market is going down like what it is do some research if you believe it's going to go up then you buy at a lower price hold sell at the price that you want now if we take a look back at village forms we can see in the last year the company has produced to us over 240 percent um, in gains in profits now, anyone that was holding, I would say back in um, June or even in May, then definitely if you sell um, in February or in the early part of March, you still could have made a whopping profit. This is why it's very important that you may want to subscribe so you can get notified when these videos will come out. Um, again, if you have too many different marijuana plays that you can't really buy everything, that's fine. Or you can't really invest in every single company, but this is a great opportunity for anyone that's looking for a play that have different exposure now if we look back i would say in the last six months we can see the company was doing actually relatively um good uh, the price is where um it is right now start off then we saw a huge rise when it hit in that december peak and right around the election time we can see right off a boom we saw a huge jump then we saw a small pullback and then obviously we saw the biggest peak now if you're planning to go out say um, by end of the year with this company then definitely you could make 100% on your investment. But if you're planning just to do a month or two, right, you can still make money, but it won't be as much as if you're holding long term. Because keep in mind, guys, we're in a transition period now with you know, the EV market, with the coronavirus, uh, with the cannabis space, and with the new tech, uh, with Gino. There's so many different things that's coming in the mix right now. So you have to pick and pop which is the right investment you want to do. And once you find that out, then it's key. And all you need to do is just wait uh, patiently until the right opportunity comes. You sell, you make a lot of money. Now, if this makes sense to you guys, hopefully it does. Please like, please comment, please let me know what you think. If you're holding some, if you're planning to buy some, or if you sold your shares previously, let me know what you think. 
Now, guys, always, always, always do your research. Make sure that you're prepared because when you don't do your research and you jump and buy and then the market drops, you panic and then you sell and then you create a loss and then you buy something else. You may make the same mistake over and over. So always do your research uh, regardless of who is recommending the stock. Completely do a research to make sure it fits your portfolio. And if it does, definitely show some love, leave a like and definitely subscribe. Let's get this family growing. I like to share any experience I have with you guys. If you guys have experience in a different stock as well or a company, definitely share it the same way. And let's grow together. Let's make a lot of money together. Now, until next time, guys, peace out.